Hello, um, this is Rindab. Um, yeah, so today we're going to learn how to create a simple water glass. Um, I'm going to try and, and mention each and everything I'm doing. I'm not really used to saying everything but yeah I'm gonna try and say everything that I'll be doing so firstly we need to create a polygon cylinder uh, and then you need to uh, let me just size it size it up okay so you need to select the faces just drag and select uh, and then you hold control and drag and drag and click and drag and let go so that you deselect the bottom faces. And then you need to select extrude and hit R for scaling. And then you just scale it down like that. And then you you press G to repeat the extrusion. And then you pull it down. I hit four to see the wireframe and then I just yeah maybe something somewhere something like that right so uh, you can press 3 for smooth preview but yeah it doesn't look like a water glass so we need to add, to add some edge loops to this geometry maybe we need one over there and one on top and yeah like also on the inside as well and I think we need one there. Hit W for moving the selected edge. Yeah, and when I hit three, yeah, that looks something like a water glass. Okay. On the inside, we need to add another edge loop. So it's Shift, right click, and then I select Insert Edge Loop. Like that. I think it looks something close to a water glass right so now we need to add the material the glass material so you just click it right click and select assign new materials then select materials and my material X and then on the attribute editor my material X1 you select presets and you choose glass thick ripple. I mean, there are also other materials that you could use, but I think glass thick would work fine. Glass thick replace, right? Okay, so now I can see the glass. So I need to add the wireframe on the shading menu. There's a wireframe on shaded. You just tick that so that you can see it. So let's just render this and see how, it, like, and see how it looks. Okay, you're supposed to select Mentor Ray. That's what we want to use. Let's render that again. Okay, I can, <laughs> I can just see the reflections. It's fine. So with the with the glass material, you need to use um, like glass needs to reflect on something. So we need to use some image-based lighting. So on the render settings, the on the scene tab. You can select create image based lighting, right? Then you can actually see the yellow sphere. That's where the image will be. And then afterwards, the image name, you need to select that folder on the right. And then you actually need to select the image based lighting. Like you could also Google some HDRI images for this kind of lighting. I already have some, so I'm just gonna choose. Yeah, maybe I'll choose that one. Okay, and hit open. As you can see, it's been applied. So I can actually render it. Let's see how it looks. Yep, I mean, looks okay. But I think the problem is that it's floating in the air, so it's kind of weird. So I'm just going to add, a, um, sorry, like I'm just going to add a polygon plane then I'm gonna hit R to scale it up then move it down a little bit I need to scale it up a little bit more and afterwards I need to add the material 
black. Okay, a normal lamp it is fine, but I need to add a texture. You see that black and white box? That's the render node. So I'm gonna create a file. Then we click the folder, and we're gonna choose yeah the wood texture. Like I said before, you can find textures online, even on Google Images. You can also find um, textures for pretty much anything. And then I'm going to hit 6 to preview the texture. You see, that's the wood texture. So now, when I hit render, at least, I don't know, like it will be better, because you can actually see that it's sitting on something. <coughs> mm -mm 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 -mm. Right. That's 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 looking much better. And we can also render it like this. Uh, so yeah, I mean, if you wanna create a simple glass and render it as quickly as possible, that's pretty much what you do. There are a lot of things you can do to create this, but this is my basic way of doing it. So yeah. If you have any questions or if you have any comments, please do comment. But anyway, thank you for watching and I hope I'll see you on the next video.